oh, oh. I guess we were, we're so handsome and beautiful. It just couldn't. <laughs> Justin King's going to be We're so, going so fast. Look at us. We're going so fast. Well, that's it. Okay. All right. All right. Hey, Gamecock Nation. We're back with season two of Cruising with the Coaches, driven by EasyGo. This fall, we'll be introducing a brand new batch of staff members for you guys to get to know just a little bit better. And the best part is, we'll be doing it all from this brand new custom Gamecock EasyGo golf cart. And you guys know the drill, you can enter in for your shot to win it. So let's get this thing rolling. All right, who do we have up first? Who do we have first? No, 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 not, yes! <laughs> Jody Wright, you get to, you're, you're cruising with the coaches. You're cruising with the coaches. I feel famous. Here. Oh my, yeah, okay, famous. well, you know what they, let's do this. So this is a little, this one's a little zippy. Do you want to tell everyone where and how long we've known each other? I mean, what, 10, 12 years? 12 no, years? No, Jessica, since 2010, when she was a lonely oh student gosh. worker at University of Oh my gosh, Knew not. she was uh, bound for great things. Uh, 12 years of just being best friends? That's right. How is this even a, I mean, oh my nice goodness. Coach Beaver. <laughs> we, shout out to Shane. Okay, so tell us about yourself. The people want to know. So born and raised, give, give me yeah. all the, the so lowdown. I, I was born in Mobile, Alabama. Uh, I was raised down in South Alabama and uh, West Alabama in a place called Pickens County. I tell people it's uh, basically bordering the Mississippi line there. So my father, uh, Lynn Wright, was a long time high school football coach. Uh, was raised on a chicken farm, so it's good to be back around game okay, again. I was going to say, that so, is, I'm not going to lie, it seems pretty fitting if you ask me. I went to high school at uh, Pickens Academy, uh, and I was fortunate enough to go play football at Jacksonville State University, uh, which was also Gamecock. So Jody! Was, so Gamecock, so it was destined. Jody, but, what? Uh, but it's been a, a great run in football, and, uh, you know, been uh I was fortunate enough to work with the Cleveland Browns, the New York Giants, uh, the past two seasons, and now back in the uh, SEC uh, with the South Carolina Games. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Okay, so what's it like? Tell us. You've been here a few months now. You got your, you know, your feet wet. You're we're ready to rock and roll the season. How has your first few months been here in Columbia? You know, it's been great. Uh, you know, from day one, just everyone in the building and the university has just been uh, first class. And, and, so great to be part of a, you know, everything Coach Beamer's building here. Absolutely. You know, you just enjoy coming to work every day. Hey, I I totally understand that. I I really enjoy coming to work too, especially more so for the food, Kristen. Oh, Kristen. Ah, here's the thing. It's just it's so tasty. I tell her, Miss Anita, they've only put about 10 pounds on me since I work here. Right, so I, gotta, I have I to work out. I gotta get on the yeah. Luke Day strength and conditioning plan. Like it's getting out of control. It really is. It's getting out of control. All right, so <clears throat> rapid fire. Wait, wait, yes. Oh, here we go, there we go. Rapid fire. Okay. Beach or lake? Lake. Night game, noon game. Night game. Away game, home game. Home game. Come on. <laughs> A home night game. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Chicken nuggets or boneless wings? Boneless wings. And, and what is your reasoning with that? Because I, last season, we we just said they were the exact same thing. Yeah, basically I think they are the same thing. I, I just think boneless wings probably has a little more true chicken meat in it. And being a chicken farmer growing I, up, I, I, I just like it. Oh my gosh, I forgot about that. <laughs> so what is your favorite thing about Coach Beamer? You know, the thing, uh, you know, in Coach Beamer all the way back to 2005, uh, you know, he's he's the same genuine, caring person. Um, I watched him pour into his players when he was a cornerbacks coach and then running backs coach at South Carolina. Um, and he's, he does the same thing now. And I think what makes Coach Beamer special is he genuinely cares about everybody and wants everybody to be the best version of themselves, whether it's players, staff, anybody. He's always willing to support, whether it's in the community, uh, the campus, everything, and, and you know, I think he leads by example. So when you come in the building, his positive energy, um, the way he cares about everyone, and 
it's it you know it starts from the top down and I think it just everyone else just feeds off that from the leader. Coach Beamer, give this man a <laughs> raise. Give this man a raise. I was glad he gave me a job. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's good enough. That's good. Enough. Well, Jody, look at that. We're back. Well, Jody Wright, cruising with the coaches. It was awesome. Let's do Thanks, this. Woohoo! So I gotta get off now? You gotta. I'm All sorry, right. but. <laughs>